we'll continue on with a question, a follow-up question to you, Mr. Oz. This one is just for you. You tweeted in August that you will never stop fighting to lower gas prices for Pennsylvanians. Does that include supporting a suspension of the federal gas tax? You have 30 seconds. I'm supportive of reducing taxes, uh, but we want to be thoughtful about the long-term game plan to get gas taxes down and frankly all energy prices down. I have I, gone around the Commonwealth, I've witnessed people say I'm not going on vacation this year because I can't afford to pay to take my trailer to the campground. They can't even get there. What we have to do is ensure that we don't have increased inflation and the best way to do that is reduce gas prices. John Fetterman has gone after the energy industry, called it a, a stain on Pennsylvania and argued we have to ban fracking. That is a disconnected from Pennsylvania. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Oz. We will get to the issue of fracking later on in this discussion. But meantime, turning back to you, Mr. Fetterman, for a follow-up. In an op-ed for the Wilkes-Barre Times leader, you wrote, quote, it is time we crack down on the big price gouging corporations that are making record profits while jacking up prices for all of us. How do you plan to do this, sir? You mentioned price going after price gouging corporations. How do you plan to do this? You have 30 seconds. Yeah, exactly. We have to keep pushing back on that. And he would never make that choice to, to fight for uh, for, for uh, Amer uh, families here in Pennsylvania. You know, he has never met an air, uh, uh, an oil company that he doesn't swipe right about. You know, he has never been able to stand up for working families all across Pennsylvania. You know, we must push back. Inflation has hurt Americans and Pennsylvania's families, and it has given the oil companies record profits. All right. Thank you, Mr. Fetterman. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.